हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर फाइन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू लेसन नेम्ड फूड फॉर ऑल सो वी आर नोइंग आर बेसिक नीड्स वॉट आर आर बेसिक नीड्स फूड क्लोदिंग शेल्टर वॉटर एजुकेशन इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द फूड विच वी ईट and we live if we don't eat food can we live no so let us try to understand from the lesson what they are going to tell us about food from the lesson the name of the lesson is food for all the first point mentioned here agriculture so the food crops which are obtained by agriculture that is farming agriculture occupation the crops which are grown by the farmers but crops are grown according to seasons in rainy season there are different crops in summer season then summer crops then winter season different crops so we are knowing according to the climate of that time according to the season of that place uh, all over the world the farmer it grows the crops if he does not follow this procedure of growing crops in that manner what will happen he will have to suffer a loss he will not get the proper crop but if it grows the crops in proper time in proper season then he will get a good harvest and we get the season food and fruits from the plants from the crops what names are for the crops which are grown in particular season the first one mentioned here is the kharif season then the crops which are grown from june to october month so this is october month so the plants when the school starts we can remember in that manner when the school starts and till the october month the plants which are grown in the farmers Uh, land okay in our country india from june to october those are the kharif crops then from october to march the crops which are grown from october to march those crops are known as rabi crops or rabi season then from march to june these months those crops are called summer crops that is the summer season crops now the farming work or the agriculture work in this paragraph it is saying that every farmer it wants a good harvest a good crop and that good crop provides a good income to the farmer what what are the things the farmer should do for getting a good crop he should have proper fertile land good quality seeds and fertilizers good water resources and then only the proper crop can be cultivated and he should also have the essential things which are required for harvesting a good crop then while plowing the land it should be done properly then the crop should be protected from the damage from pests insects or grazing animals and many other factors which damage the crop all these are important for the farmer to be careful and do it a uh, in a proper manner the population of our country is increasing day by day so we need more and more food crop we need the more quantity of food day by day then how this agriculture occupation can also be well developed by doing the work with proper methods of plowing the field or working in a proper new techniques new methods of farming and observing and learning the new methods the technology using the technology for growing the crop in olden times when we were in our in our times when we were children 
how the farming was carried on in a traditional manner what was the normal procedure the field was plowed with animals or the ox then to remove water to provide in the farm what they used a large leather bag which was tied by a long coconut rope and then it was put into the well and it was removed with the wheel that water was removed in that little leather bag with a wheel and then it was that water was thrown away by the bag into the fields then the crops which grew how it was removed it was removed by the family members they only worked in the field and removed that crop and removed the harvested crop or the grains out of the crop so this was very old method of farming the next point mentioned here for good agricultural crop is the improved seeds in olden days the same seeds were stored for another harvest in another season and that same seeds were used for getting the good, the crop but by the time from keeping storing the seed for another season it used to become more ripe or it could be attacked by the insects and the seeds would get damaged but nowadays we uh, seeds are available in shops provided by government too and you can use medicines to prevent from damage of stored seeds and you can use for the another season then another paragraph method modern methods of irrigation now if you require water for irrigation or planting the crops if you don't have proper resources then by obtaining the methods of irrigation then and get the water resource from time to time what we can do we can take water from rivers lakes wells and also store rain water and implement the modern techniques of storing the water and use for our crops from time to time and we can store water in large quantity by building dams and bunds and to protect the flow of river water if it is getting wasted to another side and divert that water for growing crops then what happens if we try to obstruct the water in one place it is absorbed by the earth's surface on that particular place for longer period and the ground water level is increased the ground water is increased in one particular place crops which were grown traditionally by the canals a small outlet was there or pipes were there and many easy means what were available during that time was used in olden days and evaporation also was more because it was not a very large uh, amount of you can say uh, modern tech uh, the techniques which are nowadays were not in those times so the water was evaporated due to the heat of the sun and pa- farmers had to suffer the water shortage for their crops in olden days but nowadays the technique the implementation of scientific knowledge and the instruments now and due to the new new techniques of agricultural new instruments and implementation of good scientific method have given a great help in improving the farming occupation then in the lesson here there are mentioned two methods of pouring the water on the plants how you will put water on the plants the one is drip irrigation and sprinkle irrigation means by shower method you can sprinkle water on the plants then drip irrigation a large long pipe can be placed in the field from one point to another point and holes are from measurement wise 1 meter or 2 meters difference is there distance is there in between the pipe and holes are made and from that the from that pipe water is passed through it and from those holes the water is given to the plants so if you put directly the force of water on the plants what will happen they will get moved from one place to another and they will they can they will come out of the soil 
if they are delicate plants so by this method by sprinkle method and the drip method by the pipes method it is shown in the picture there you can follow it and you can use the this type of method for pouring water on the plants it also saves the water then fertilizer if we go on using the fertilizer again and again it is a chemical we put on the plants and if it falls on the soil what happens if it falls on the soil the fertility of the soil decreases what are the minerals which we get from the plants which are absorbed by the roots what happens the fertility of the soil decreases and we don't get the proper minerals vitamins proteins whatever good things we eat from the food crop from the leafy vegetables or from the vegetables we don't get the proper minerals if the soil is damaged by the fertilizers then plants do not get the proper minerals from the soil chemical fertilizers artificial fertilizers should be used in a small quantity so that it does not harm the soil natural fertilizers manures green waste animal dung uh, this type of natural manure should be given to the crops if we put more water to the plants what will happen the soil will remain moist for longer period of time and it will flow away from one place to another place and by this procedure what will happen the minerals the uh, whatever minerals we are getting from the soil it will get dispersed from one place to another place and when we sow the crop or when we plant the crop what will happen we won't get the proper minerals from the plant once the crop is grown we should protect the crops from diseases and we should store it in proper place and we should keep it insecticides free pesticides free so that the they don't damage the crops then storage of grain should be in proper place and it's also important to increase the storage place if another person also wants to store he can also store in that place the, the grain should be dried in the sun and filled in the sacks so these are the methods for storing the crop then after some time or after a particular period of time we should know that this crop should be sold then only you will get the proper source of income in the correct time otherwise you have to face a financial or money loss it should be protected from mice that is rats okay then insects then if the grain is stored in closed damp space if there is no sunlight in that place it catches fungus if there is moisture in that it will also get damaged to prevent such damage we should put the pesticides in that place so that the insects do not spoil the crop neem leaves can be also put over the grain or on the sacks of the grain or inside the grain such protective chemicals should be mixed and also sent in the market so that they don't the insect don't spoil the crop storage places should be always kept in dry and airy places to prevent the fungus then food storage and we should also conserve the environment so like other living things we store the we like to store the food in our house also we store the wheat for one year or uh, the different types of food which we eat in particular season we store the food grains or also rice we store for a longer period if that rice is old rice it also is it tastes more better than the new rice so such things we are knowing in our day to day life so we should try to protect these crops and conserve in proper manner we should avoid the insects to sit on the food which we eat then bees also what they do they collect the nectar from flowers and store it in the honeycomb in the form of honey then squirrel also store the seeds so animals also 
some animals which are examples are mentioned here in this lesson they also store the fruit food and they eat it when they need in that particular season when in another season if it is not available then they eat that stored food so plants are busy producing the food they need plants they prepare their own food plants also store the food then plants such as onion garlic then potato ginger all these are also stored there are storage for this type of crops then radish sweet potato beetroot where they are they are the roots of the plants they also store the food in the stem or the roots then store homes according to their needs so all these are the homes which are mentioned of the plants and animals where they store their food our country india is having number of storage um, places for storing the food they are known as warehouses where the food grains are stored sometimes there is a natural disaster flood drought cyclone or a hail storm in this period we can use the stored food grains from the warehouses even in earthquakes also you can use such type of stored food then green revolution our country india is full full fledged of with food grains we are not having any problem of food in our country our country is having extra surplus food grain there is increase of food grain production in our country during the green achieved by the green revolution by how this has accomplished to such fulfillment how this has become a great revolution by the efforts of scientists <coughs> and the people working for science and farmers they are doing such type of hard work for improvement of agriculture and giving us food the seeds of wheat and rice are also resulted good in the green revolution who has done this green revolution the scientist his name is dr m s swami nathan food is our basic need many countries are having a good food for their livelihood in our country also we are adopting the food security law from 2013 and because of it we can give food to each and every human being in our country we can fight the problems of malnutrition what is meant by malnutrition a person who does not get food he suffers from the disease or the illness of malnutrition then starvation means no food no water for number of days and he dies because of hunger because he did not get food so we are working under the food security law from 2013 that each and every human being of the country of the citizen of the country should get food in the last paragraph they are saying that government has started agricultural school for farmers farmers and the family members who are doing this agricultural work or farming occupation there are schools who give lectures to the farmers for developing the occupation or harvesting a good crop or getting a good crop agricultural produce marketing committee holds exhibitions okay they do a prepare a stall and they keep the instruments or guide different kinds of things by giving examples or showing practical things to the farmers or keep the things the instruments new modern instruments or the developed seeds the irrigation methods they guide the farmers in all types of things for developing their farming occupation then there are government agricultural universities through television newspaper and various periodical works 
speeches lectures are given to the people in their villages and they are guided for modern methods of agriculture now it is possible for all farmers to use the ma- modern methods for increase in their harvest to increase their production and the whole country is benefiting from these efforts for your homework you will do the question and answers below the lesson and read the lesson properly read can you tell do you know always remember and write the question and answers